When you're chasing victory at 200 miles per hour, you need to be fast on the track and in the pits. How long is an average pit stop during the Indy 500? Uh, you're looking about seven seconds. What has to happen in those seconds? All four tires, full tank of fuel, and they can also make either a front wing or a rear wing adjustment. Mechanic Mike Meyer says that every team member must be on point. You have to stay calm, uh, attention to detail. First up, the tires. All you need is a little practice. Mike gave me a lesson on an Indy Lights car. Yep, keep going. Keep going. Yep. A little more, there you go. You'll see these pins here. Yeah. You want to try to line them up. Go hard. Perfect. Did I do that right? Yeah, you did it perfect. Oh, I did? Okay. Yeah, it's on there. It's tight. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't want this flying off. <laughs> no, it's all good. Because didn't do it right. <laughs> Next, wing adjustments. I don't feel like the rear is very secure at all. The wing keeps the car stuck to the track during those tight turns. You make a, a wrong wing adjustment, the car's not going to handle for the driver, and then you're going to have a bad day. Finally, team chemistry is a must. You all have to come together and work together and to become a team. And then when you win, everyone's happy. Exactly. That's the goal. Going from the pits to the checkered flag on the breakdown.